What is going on guys? This is Mr. Dancan18 again, coming at you with episode 2 of my Let's Play for Farming Simulator 2013. And like I said at the end of the last episode, I would get us to... I was plowing those two fields together over there, the... Uh, let's see... 15 and 16 here. And I said I would get that those planted with canola, and on the next episode, which is this one, we would harvest it and probably start selling some of the crops so we can begin the process of upgrading some of the equipment we have another another hundred thousand dollars we could we could borrow if we wanted to buy 14 here hmm let's see what to do let's get started on the uh, the harvest first let's see jump in the harvester Take your time. <laughs> there we go. Hire the worker. Jump out. Okay, I asked you guys in the last episode to let me know what you guys want me to do next or during the harvesting and, and things like that, the long process of doing some of this. Did you guys want me to uh, leave every step in or edit some of it out? And so far it seems like you guys want me to leave everything in, so I'm going to try to do that. And it also looks as if you guys want to work toward. Big shout out to Duzo, one uh, Duzo FS, who who commented and thinks we need to work our way toward the biodiesel plant. Start making a bunch of money that way. I have a a video that I can link in the description that uh, explains how to do that. But we'll start working our way toward that. Seems like a good recommendation, so we can make a bunch of money, so we can begin doing. All the other fun things in this game. But seems like what we'll need to do first is upgrade our core equipment here. That you know, I think one of the first things I'm gonna do is get a bigger trailer. And then work my way toward a bigger cedar and harvester and all that. Cruise Control 4 is supposed to be harvesting speed, but it never seems to match. You always have to fiddle with it. Too. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but I don't like to drive on the crop. I don't while I'm harvesting. I don't know if that does anything. If you guys know that, that if that affects it at all, let me know because <laughs> I'd like to know. But I don't know. Maybe it's my OCD. I just don't like to drive on it unless I have to, obviously. Let's see. Let's look at some of the stuff we might begin working toward upgrading. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Tippers. Let's see. That would be nice. Because when we begin harvesting some of the more 
voluminous crops like wheat and barley, the little trailer we have, or tipper, will fill up relatively quickly. Probably the cedar will work toward also because it cultivates at the same time. And we do need a. Let me get this here. This fertilizer, because th this crop did not get fertilized because you don't start the game with with a fertilizer, but we'll get one. That's probably the first thing we'll buy. I'm to think if I should take out a loan or because I prefer when it comes to selling the crops to wait for a great demand you can't whoops uh, too fast oh there we go you can't always wait for a great demand but it sure does help I'll show you what I mean whoop passed it you see the canola at the end there is $12.39 which is a good price but it would be so much better see the this is the page that great demands would be on and occasionally you get something that pops up and gives you like 1.8 times the uh, the original price or sometimes even twice the original price which is a huge help obviously Let's see how much crop do we start with already in the silos. It's a good amount. Oh, carrying no eggs. Maybe we should buy some chickens to give us something to do. is this field? I guess I could have drove the tractor over. <laughs> Felt like going for a run, I guess. Hundred and two. So if I took that loan out, I probably need to sell all the crop that I have. That way I can upgrade some of the equipment and the loan would still get me that that field. I'll wait and see what you guys think and do that do some of those upgrades in episode three. We'll just harvest this field and replant in this one. Like I said in the last episode, if you guys want me to show the entire harvesting process and all the long processes like this, I won't be talking a whole lot because uh, <laughs> I'm okay at running my mouth, but I can't feel this much time. <laughs>
Let's see. Yeah, we definitely need to get that. I'd like to get that before we replant this field. It's basically 10,000 bucks. Maybe I could sell. Maybe instead of putting this this load of canola in the uh, silo, maybe I'll just drive it straight to the end and see what that gets us. I guess I'm trying to avoid the loan or save it save it for when I want to buy this large field. The loan actually isn't bad. You don't it actually doesn't hurt you that much, but still try to avoid it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the the mower. I need to get the mower first. Cause that's how you make your money early in the game, especially. We'll look at that after this pass. Double tap four on right there and slows it down a beat or two. Okay. Let's try them back around and let's look at the mower. I think I will take the loan and get another one of those what's the name of those a small red tractor. We'll get one of those and then the mower and then a front weight and then drive it over to the golf course because you can do two two set setups for those because there's two different locations on the map that does mowing missions but the golf course has two different locations where the mowing missions occur uh, I'll show you later let's see uh, mower so we'll need this guy eight thousand bucks this guy Seven thousand. So I am going to take out that loan. See. What do you think? Get to about maybe that does it. Buy that. Oh, the, re the reason I'm buying... Did I skip it? The reason I'm buying just an extra one is because I'm going to just leave it over there. And then I'll also buy the... Sprayer. Let's get those weights. This weight for it. Okay, so let's get, let's let him offload and then we'll jump down to the store and get our stuff. Whoa! <laughs> That's a little too far. Okay. Speed up a little.
down here get our mower Let's see lift and fold what if I should have got the heavier weight lower it. It's supposed to add stability. I don't know if it does. Alright, so then we'll drive this over to the golf course. I guess we should turn the missions on. We'll turn, make it every two minutes. Time to flip I am prone to do. Yeah, there's a campsite that's in the top right of the map, and the golf course is in the bottom left. But the golf course has two different spots where the grass grows. And so, I, I mean, I don't know if you get more missions. It seems like you get more golf course grass cutting missions than you do campsite, but it could be just my imagination. And the other missions are front loader. The other types of missions are front loader missions. Um, but obviously we don't have a front loader yet. And uh, we really won't even need it. Need a front loader until we're... Until we're uh, dairy farming or farming our sheep for their wool. And we're not doing either of those yet. I think I'm going the right direction. You make sure... Our harvester's doing okay. Looks like he's. Let's see, where is he at? Yeah, we'll need to jump in here and grab him right quick. We'll leave that tractor, our mower, in the middle of the road. mission here but it's a front loader so we'll deny that those are going to pop up every two minutes so that might get annoying for you guys but it makes us our money when we uh, get the mower missions it's like two minutes work and you get like seven thousand bucks it's tough to beat We weren't in the middle of the road. <laughs> in the left, I believe. Where we would take our wolf to sell. Have any yet, obviously. <laughs> and the cows are back off that way. Go up here and hang a right.
Mew you, buddy, mew you. Ah, there we go. Cut him off. And here's the golf course. Pallet for. Hopefully we'll get one before the end of this episode so you guys get to see me cutting some grass. Alright, I'm just going to pull it over right here because there's two different spots. So we, just, we don't know where it's going to start. Jump back in our tractor. Uh-oh, we missed him. But Canola isn't that... Yeah, he can make it back for a second pass. engine was kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> oh, that's right. We still have that guy down there. So, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Reset. Actually, let's jump in. I guess I just need to sell that guy. I don't have a clue what I would use him for. Whoop. is going to be the cultivating, so, oh, let me get that map out of the way. That'll do. for give me a mower mission. Could have went ahead and started that cultivator. That's all right. Too far away. As soon as the animation stopped. Oh, it fell. <laughs> that trailer's full. What a moron. jump out and start this guy. I'm just going to dump it in the silos. Trying to wait on a great demand. Here we are. That is grass cutting missions. Yeah, more grass. 
pops your map up automatically. Let's <laughs> drive back over. Filled up, and we'll go cut that grass. Uh, thankfully, the uh, the time up there next to uh, on the top right of the screen it doesn't start until you actually start cutting the patch of grass that you're that you're uh, supposed to cut. So thankfully, that helps us. If it started when you accepted it. There's no way I'd be able to get it done. Probably. It's a good timing, and when he's turning back around. Why he leaves those patches? Doesn't always do it, just most of the time, or some of the time. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard. It's I need, I need to get a new one. What the heck? I hit four. There we are. Let's get everything working at once. Get our efficiency up. Out of the way. And then go cut some grass. And then we'll set up the our green and yellow tractor there. I don't not very good with the names. <laughs> and uh, we'll set him up to get ready to seed the field again. Jump in here map on let us know where the grass is. Green circle. Whoop. That's where we're headed toward. There it is. Go away, man. There. Okay, let's unfold it. Whoops, lower it and turn it on. And this can do, you can cut grass at cruise control too, so. Cut this patch of grass and you make I think it's I think on this larger patch it's like six or seven thousand bucks. Can't do it. It pays all your I mean you cut one you do this once in a in a in a day and you basically pay all your wages for your hired workers. You basically pay all your expenses with, with this in one. And you usually get several of these missions a day, so it's highly profitable. done. Here we 
go. We should do it. All right. Let's see, fifty six hundred bucks plus a time bonus. So it's I mean that's eight thousand bucks, just about. So can't beat that. Jump back over here, like I said. And I'm gonna get this set up to do the seating. Probably end the episode there because we've passed the 30 minute mark which I try to keep them under 30 minutes but with editing nothing out it's difficult to do that's no big deal I'm sure you guys don't mind slightly longer episodes or you can let me know if you do and I can try to cut them up or however you want me to do it offload that and what I'll do is I'll before the next episode, I'll probably grind out a couple of harvest on this smaller field, a couple more so we can stack up some crop, and then when I, you guys put down in the comments how you want me to do this, if you want me to sell some crop, and I think I'm going to drop the weight too, let's see, drop that, and uh, sell some crop and work toward buying that other field next door the one right there or if you guys want me to um, just use the smaller field and work toward upgrading the equipment before buying that other field okay I'll show you a little trick but if you watch some of my how-to videos you may have saw this but typically the fertilizer the way you have to do that you have to drive that you can't hire a worker to fertilize your field um, but if you hook it to the front then hook your cedar to the back and then hire the worker to do the cedar but before hiring the worker no thanks but before hiring the worker to do the seeding you turn on the fertilizer it'll fertilize and seed at the same time for you and you can kind of you know get around that not being able to hire people hire a worker to, to uh, fertilize your field but I mean I don't know how you can see anything <laughs> where he's going <laughs> but all right, so and here's where you um, fill your fertilizer up. Refill, and a little trick, you don't have to fill it all the way up because if you're going to hire the worker to do it, it doesn't... Um, the, uh, the fertilizer in the, in the feeder there doesn't go down if, you're, uh, if you've hired a worker to do it. I don't know why I couldn't say that. <laughs> so let's hook up to the cedar. And I realized in the last episode I didn't show you guys where to hook, uh, where to get the seed. So if you haven't seen that, I'll show you. And that's where you would do that. But I've already got some in it, so we'll run over to the field. And I'll show you this, and then I'll get out of here. Ran a little long, so it's going to be about a 35-minute episode. Sorry about that. Just line him up here. There we go. All right, and then all you do is okay. We're on. We're going to plant canola again. So yeah, get on your fertilizer here. You turn it on. Get back on your cedar, and you hire the worker. It does both at the same time. All right, guys. There you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And what I'll do is I'll probably grind out a couple more harvests so we can get some canola in our silo there. So again, just let me know what you want to do. If you want me to if you want me to um, just work toward buying that other field. Or we can work toward um, upgrading at least the, the trailer. Um, or the tipper, however you want to say it. And the cedar. Because the upgraded cedar will cultivate at the same time so we won't have to hire an additional worker to uh, to do that it'll do everything at once it'll feed cultivate and seed in one setup just like this well alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here appreciate you guys watching and if you have any questions or comments just feel free to put them down there in the comments thanks guys